Good morning students. Myself Arshdeep Kaur, a member of Shiv Jyoti Educational Group, Kota. So students, I hope so you all are well at your home and I pray for your wellness. Today we are here to start a chapter named as Two Stories About Flying. In this chapter, the narrator has told about two different stories about flying. In the chapter, the narrator has given a very beautiful message of how to become self-reliant. So, let us begin with the story and see that what all things are there and how the narrator wants us to become self-reliant. So students, let us begin with the two stories about flying from which we are going to take the first story that is his first flight. So, in this story, basically what happens? The narrator wants to tell you that how a young seagull, that is a bird, learned to fly with his wings. This story tells that how the parents make their children self-reliant. So, let us begin with the story and let us see the efforts of the parents to make the child self-reliance. His first flight is a story of a family of seagulls consisted of six members. In this family, there were six members all together. The story gives the readers a peep into the psychology of birds. In this story, basically the narrator wants to give you a peep, a go through from the life of the seagulls and the psychology of birds. It revolves around a young seagull that is terribly afraid of flying. So this is the main aim of the story. You may remember it that this story is basically for a young seagull based on it in which he is afraid of flying. So this is the basic theme. So we will see how this young seagull, although he was afraid, but he learned to fly. He strongly believed that he would not be able to fly. Now what does young seagull believe that I cannot fly? His entire family encouraged him up to times to give it a try. But all the efforts were in vain as he refused to acknowledge his ability to fly. Now what happened? The family was again and again making the seagull try that he could fly because rest of the family has flown away. But what happened? The seagull was unable to fly. After several attempts also, he refused that I cannot fly. So what happens next? The family was on the ledge. Ledge is a mountain peak students from where a small part is coming out of the mountain. So the family was on the ledge from where they took a flight. All the family members took a flight. That means they moved. This young seagull was too afraid and remained alone on the ledge. Now out of this five, six members, the only seagull was left alone. That was the young seagull. The rest of them have gone away. He saw his entire family fluttering their wings in the sky. However, he could not gather the courage to even attempt once. Now what happened? When the entire family was flying, he was just left all alone on the ledge and he was not having enough courage that he could even try for once because he just thought that my wings would not support me and I could not do it. So this terror in his mind and in his heart just left him all alone. So let us see that was the seagull able to fly? His parents threatened and scolded but nothing could encourage him. The entire family managed to get food. However, the young seagull 
was starving on the ledge now as you know students when we are not able to do certain things our parents they just try to make us bold by different ways and methods sometimes they scold us sometimes they teach us with all their lovings similarly the young seagull parents also scolded him threatened him and they were having an aim to make the young seagull also fly so they were just trying to make him fly but the entire family has managed to get the food because they were flying the young seagull was starving with food he want to get some food he want to eat but how would he get that because the family has gone away he has not eaten anything for a day so 24 hours have been passed away and he has not eaten anything imagine students that you are trying to learn something or you are left alone and you are not able to eat for a day what will be your situation similarly this young seagull was also facing the same situation that he has not eaten anything for a day and the scorching sun was made him restless students as you all know that these birds live in the open sky so there the sun was on the head of the young seagull and he has not eaten anything so what happened he was just feeling restless let us see what happens next he thought of getting down in water without flying and grabbing food but the rock was steep now the young seagull thought that okay i wonder that i should get down in the water and i should arrange my food on myself on my own but what happened when he tried to move down over there he found that the rocks were too steep so he again come back he thought i cannot manage to get food also out of frustration and hunger he started crying now he has tried by himself to arrange food parents has gone away brothers and sisters have left him but the food was not there for one day he was all alone and nothing to eat so he started crying seeing her baby crying of hunger the mother seagull came flying with a piece of fish in her mouth you know that students our mothers cannot see us in crying in pain similarly the young seagull mother cannot see the child in pain and crying out of hunger so she managed to get a piece of fish in her mouth and she has gone near to the young seagull the young seagull was mad with hunger and he leaned eagerly from the ledge to grab it now as the mother came the young seagull was there the moment he saw the mother he just tried to grab it but he cannot get he just tried to grab and mother started shifting a back from the ledge fine the young seagull was here the mother came and he tried to grab the food and mother started shifting away from the ledge so what happens next the mother seagull had the intention to make her child independent remember students the intention of the mother was to make her child independent a self reliant person therefore she stopped at a distance the young seagull could not understand the reason of his mother's action now the mother has came but she is away from the young seagull and she has stopped at a distance the seagull was thinking that why my mother is not coming to me why she is staying away from me mad with hunger he leaned from the ledge and before he could realize he was in the air now what happened he just leaned from the ledge he just tried to grab the fish in her mother's mouth in order to grab that fish he was in the air he took the flight but he was unknown to it that hunger made him took that flight he was too scared and felt that his heart had stopped soon 
he realized that his wings broke the shackles of fear and feeling the air started flapping his wings now this is very important stanza students kindly remember it that the moment he was in the air what all feelings did he have he thought that my heart has stopped working it's not working anymore he failed that terror over there and he realized that his wings broke the shackles of fear and feeling the air started flapping his wings the fear was gone away no fear was left the wings has broken that fear and they have started flying feeling the air he was feeling the air he was flapping the wings and the fear was no more the young seagull started flying the entire family is overjoyed to see the victory of the young seagull the full family is very overjoyed that yes mother and father were very happy that my child has become independent brothers and sister were happy that they have got their younger brother with them so they were very much overwhelmed with their emotions and thoughts let us see to the critical analysis of the chapter the story is a metaphorical representation of human need to be self reliant and independent as i told you in the beginning of the chapter only that the author wants you to make you realize that you need to become self independent time comes that we have to take our responsibilities we cannot be a burden on our parents for our whole life and their scoldings are a part of making ourselves a independent person the lesson that the young seagull learned the hard way made him independent so in this lesson you have seen how the mother tried and made the child independent similarly our parents also in our life try to make us independent the author has also highlighted an aspect of human behavior this is important student a human being is not capable of dealing with hunger and in some cases it becomes a great motivational factor to do things which we can not can't imagine ourselves doing sometimes it happens to us when it is to talk about food we have to do it when we talk about hunger the people get motivated hunger is the biggest motivational factor in human life hunger make people do what not in their life in this story also because of hunger the young seagull just fought away with his fear similarly in our lives also because of hunger and many other motivational factors we fought with our fears and we get independent so things which we cannot even imagine ourselves doing hunger make us do such things the author has certainly tried to bring home the fact that having courage and determination are personality traits is very important however a driving force like hunger also plays an important role in the story so the author wants to say you you should have courage you should have determination but hunger is very important why so because till the time you do not feel need for something you will not put your 100% efforts for it it happens student when we feel it is our need and hunger is a very big need at that time this determination and courage which was hiding in ourselves they just come out in the story the author has used hunger as a source of motivation for a right cause but it can drive a human being to dwell into something negative too so students just remember it in the story the hunger has made a good factor that the young seagull just took a flight and was happy with the parents but sometimes hunger made us do some things which are not in good way so there should be a differentiation between good and bad 
let us come to the theme of the story the story highlights the message that we must have faith in inherent in our inherent qualities we should have faith we could do it until and unless you don't have faith in yourself nothing could be achieved we all are born with different talents and qualities we must believe in ourselves and identify the qualities we possesses remember it students each one of us has a different set of qualities and that is god gift to us we just need to identify it also the author wants to bring home the fact that we must be self reliant and independent to live a happy life these two lines are the message that we should become self reliant and independent to live a happy life for our whole life we could not be a burden on our parents or anyone so just become self reliant so students i request you all to open your books and come to his first flight chapter number 3 page number 32 and mark some of the internal questions write the first internal question where did the young seagull sit alone in order to find the answer refer the first paragraph the young seagull was alone on his ledge come to page number 33 and mark the second internal question how did they taunted the young seagull to find the answer come to page number 33 and the second paragraph last line taunting him with cowardness then kindly come to the next page 34 and mark the question what did the young seagull do out of his ledge to find the answer come to the first paragraph he was pretended to be falling asleep then come to page number 36 and mark the question how did the family showed the happiness for the young seagull to get the answer come to the last line of the page their beaks were offering him scraps of talk fish i hope so you have marked the questions so students now let us come Uh, to the second part of two stories about flying in the first story his first flight we have learned that how a young seagull has become independent and self reliant with the help of the parents in this story we will learn about the black aeroplane in this story also the author has given a beautiful message that if you have a internal will you could achieve anything so now let us see what happens to this black aeroplane before moving to that we will learn about the author fredrick forsett was born on 25th august 1938 he was he is an english author and occasional political commenter he is best known for thrillers such as the day of the jackal the orison file the fourth protocol the dogs of war the devil's alternative the F- the fist of god icon the veterna avenger the afghan and the cobra are some of the writings of the famous author so now let us begin with the story Black Aeroplane is a story with the themes of mystery, suspense, determination and courage. A pilot of old Dakota airplane was flying in the midnight over the sky of Paris. Now what happened? This old aeroplane was just flying from over the sky of the Paris. He was excited to reach England as early as possible. so that he could have breakfast with his family 
Now the pilot was very much in a good mood and hurry up to reach to the hometown England. Why so? Because he want to enjoy the breakfast with his family over there. But nature had a different plan for him. Unfortunately, on his way, he encountered a terrible storm and mountainous black clouds. Now, as you all know students, we plan something that we are going to do this, we are going to do that. But the nature has some plans for us. We are not able to succeed in our plans. That what happens with this pilot also. He has a very good plan that he will go home, he will enjoy his breakfast. But what happened? There was a terrible storm in front of him and he has to face that storm in order to reach England. He has two choices. He could go back or he has to fight the storm. So let us see what the pilot actually tried to do. The narrator was scared. However, the wish to meet his family helped him to muster the courage to not to lose hope and find his way. Now, the pilot was scared that what will I do? I have to return back. But he just got his courage that no, my family is waiting for me and I have to reach there. So he gathered all the courage and he took the decision that I'll fight the storm and reach my home place. As he was in the turmoil of black clouds, that means he has entered the storm and now he is in between that storm and in between that storm there are black clouds. All his devices and systems fail to work. Now students, as you all know that in airplane, there are many devices that make us connected to the earth. Like we have walkie talkies, we have radio station devices, but the moment the flight, the pilot just entered the storm, all systems and devices stop working. So see what happens now. He could not communicate with anybody. He was stuck out, but he was not able to communicate. He was determined to deal with the situation. This is an important line student. He was determined to deal with the situation. Seeing, seeing the storm, seeing the clouds, he just did not lose the hope. He was determined that yes, I could do it. And suddenly, he noticed a black aeroplane in front of him. Now, in between that storm, where he was stuck out, he was not able to communicate to anyone. He saw an aeroplane has entered in that storm just in front of his aeroplane. The pilot of the plane instructed him to follow and he obediently did as instructed. Now the pilot said of that plane that has entered the storm that just follow me and he as a good student followed that pilot. All this was not enough when he realized that his fuel tank was getting exhausted. Now what happened students? He was caught up in a storm. He was having no devices from which he could contact to the ground staff. Over there, one plane has come from somewhere around was going to help him. But one more problem has come that the fuel was going to get over. So now what happens? And this, this life and death situation, suddenly he saw a ray of light in the form of a row of light on the ground. It was the runway. Now he was continuing following that pilot, but he saw a ray of light. That was the runway. He landed down and straight forward went to the control room. As in when he landed on the airport, he just moved towards the control room. On inquiring about the other aeroplane, he was told that the control room did not notice. Now what happens? He said that please tell me which aeroplane was there who just helped me coming out of that storm. I want to thank that person. But on inquiring, he found that there was no aeroplane scheduled on the same path. 
with him and another plane on the radar so there was no other plane which was scheduled he has gone to the control room he inquired over there and he found that many questions remained unanswered mysterious and unsolved and he was left dumbstruck as he could not believe what the control room told him now as i told you students there was a plane that he followed in the storm and he reached to the runway how would he believe that there was no plane because the control room was telling that there was no other plane on the same runway so he was not able to believe their words let us see to the critical analysis of the chapter it is a very well narrated story and the author has done his best to bring out thrill suspense and mystery to it successfully now the author has tried to bring thrill suspense that how and where did that aeroplane came from to help that person the technique used to add the element of mystery like where the other plane came from and where it disappeared catches the attention of the reader so the technique used was one plane came and it suddenly disappeared so this was the basic theme it can also be understood that the writer tried to incorporate a supernatural element remember the student that the writer wants to tell you that if you have will power determination courage then supernatural elements also help you to achieve it although the supernatural element can be a fragment of imagination of the dakota pilot the writer could make a perfect end now it could be imagination also but what actually happened that it could be that he was thinking that one plane has come to help him but actually it was not like that where the readers are left in confusion to analyze and understand the various possibilities of what could have happened to the other pilot now the readers have been left out to think that actually where did the pilot has gone let us come to the theme of the story the theme has come out of a loud and a clear is no matter how trying the circumstances are if you have hope and conviction even the universe comes to your rescue and you will sail through all the tough times it is very important thing student that if circumstances are not in your favor things have changed all around and you are in lots of trouble from all the sides like this plane was in a storm he was not able to connect he was not having uh, enough fuel but he has one thing that was will power so the universe helped him to rescue from that particular area the dakota pilot did not lose hope and still showed courage he was determined and helped his way so he was courageous he was determined to reach his place so this helped him go from there i hope so you have understood the chapter so students now i request all of you to come to page number 37 of your book and write the first question how was the weather when the pilot started flying his aeroplane in accordance to find the answer kindly come to the first paragraph of the chapter the moon was coming up in the east behind me and stars were shining in the clear sky above me there wasn't cloud in the sky i was happy to be alone high up above the sleeping countryside so now let us come to question number 2 what happened when the pilot saw storms and clouds when he was about 150 kilometers away from paris in order to find the answer of this question come to page 37 last third paragraph 
Paris was about 150 kilometers behind me when I saw the clouds, storms clouds. They were hung. They looked like black mountains standing in front of me across the sky. So now let us come to page number 38 and mark the question. Why was the pilot happy to see and find an aeroplane behind another aeroplane in the black clouds? In order to find the answer, come to the last second paragraph on same page number 38. He turned his aeroplane slowly to the north in front of my Dakota so that I could be easier for me to follow him. I was very happy to go behind the strange aeroplane like an obedient child. Now let us mark the next question. Come to page number 39. Why did the writer go to the control room? Come to page number 39 only, the last third paragraph and last four lines. I landed was not sorry to walk from old Dakota near the control tower. I went and asked a woman in the control center where I was and who the other pilot was. I wanted to say thank you. Students, let us come to the syllabus that has been reduced from your portion in literature. First flight book, how to tell wild animals. Second, trees. Third, measurable the otter. Fourth, for any jaw tree. From the book, footprints without feet. The book that saved the earth. A question of trust. The Midnight Visitor. So these are the things which have been reduced from your literature part. I hope so. You all have understood the two stories about flying and the message the narrator wants to give you. So students, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.